Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel by Online Excel Tip. I am Anil Dhawan and in this video tutorial, I will show you the use of Flash Fill in Microsoft Excel. Flash Fill feature was firstly introduced in Excel 2013. So, if you are still working on previous version of Excel, you will have to upgrade it to 2013 or latest version in order to see the magic of Flash Fill. This feature can be used to replace some of the text formulas, date and time formulas, etc. The feature can not only be used to extract specific characters or substrings, but can also be used to flip the data, merging several text strings, extracting specific date, time components by looking at the pattern and to apply custom format to numbers given in the data. The best part of this feature, neither we have to spend too much time in applying this feature, nor it takes more than a second or two in processing the final output. I have taken 14 examples in this video to show you the magic of flash fill and how can it be very useful in your day to day activities. Starting with the first example, here I have taken some of the famous personalities names across the world and I am going to extract their first name and the last name in column D and column E respectively. Well, this kind of situation can also be solved by writing a formula to extract the first name and the last name. But why to spend so much of time in writing a formula when Flash Fill can easily do this task in a second or two, maybe in a fraction of a second also. So we jump here and then we only need to provide the pattern. So as a pattern, I enter here first name and then I can either come to data and click on this feature Flash Fill, which is located under data tools category, or you can press control E, which is a shortcut to apply Flash Fill. So when you press control E or click on Flash Fill, you can see that feature has extracted the pattern immediately once we press the shortcut in rest of the cells. Let's see once again, here we type the last name and then I press control E and there we go. Within a fraction of second, we can see that the feature has pulled out the last name easily in this column as well. So let's get on to the second example. And in this case, we have to extract initial letter of first name and the last name. So we only provide the pattern here and then the moment you press control E, bingo. We immediately get the first initial of the first name and then we type the initial of the last name and we again press control E. It doesn't take even a second to return the output. Isn't it very fast than writing a formula and getting the result? But you cannot compare it with the formula, the reason behind if you make some changes in this name, say for if I come here and I make, let's say Brad Pitt, there we go. If we had applied here formula, it would have changed the result immediately. But since this is a feature, so feature cannot update its result once it is executed. And if we want the updated result, we will have to perform flash fill feature once again. So I immediately do control Z. Now let's move on to the third example. In the third example, we are going to extract initials now. So this time we enter A followed by S as the initials of this name. And then the moment I press control E, we can immediately see that this feature has helped us in extracting the initials from these name in this column. Let's move on to the fourth example where we have to get the first two characters of the first and the last name. So here also I come and I type the first two letters of the first name and then I press control E and I can see immediately that feature has given us the result in the rest of the cells. And then I come here and I press control E once again. Oops, this time feature has returned the incorrect output. But why is it so? Let's move on to the features description first. So here it says automatically fill in values, enter a couple of examples you want as output and keep the active cell in the column you want filled in. So in case if you see that this feature is not returning the correct output, just simply come back to the first pattern and then here you have to provide another pattern so that this feature understand what are we trying to extract. So now when you press control E, you see that this feature has extracted the correct output this time in this column. So you have to be careful and try to provide at least a couple of examples so that the feature doesn't get confused. Now moving on to the fifth example where we have to get the first name along with the initial of the last name. So this time we type the first name and then we type the initial of the last name and then the moment I press control E, there we go. It immediately extracted and returned in the similar pattern which we provide the feature. 
So this feature is looking at the pattern and whatever we are trying to extract, it understands and helps us in extracting the same. In the sixth example, we are going to flip the first name and the last name this time. So we come here and this time I write the last name first and then followed by the first name. And then as soon as I press Ctrl E, it understands. Flash will understand what I'm trying to extract and returns with the same output in rest of the cells. Let's move it on to the next example. And this time we are going to merge the first name and the last name together. This feature can also be used in merging the strings, which we generally do using concatenate or ampersand trick. So here you only have to provide the pattern and tell this feature what exactly you're trying to get. And then when you press Ctrl E as a shortcut, it immediately gives you the result. Similarly, when you move on to the eighth example, this time we are going to merge the last name separating by comma and then we would have a space followed by the first name. So we write Sandler here followed by a comma and space and then we write Adam and now when you press Ctrl E, there we go. This time also feature has extracted the result correctly in rest of the cells. All right. In the ninth example, we have to extract five characters from the middle of this given code. You only have to provide the correct pattern which you're trying to extract using this feature. So here I typed W in small case and then seven followed by T in uppercase and then three followed by V. And now when I press flash fill, there we go. It takes fraction of second only to look at the pattern and then return as the output. So now let's move into the 10th example. How about like if you got into a situation where you are provided with a date column, but the dates you have got is in different format. When I say in different format, that doesn't mean like we are talking about date format. I'm talking about what if your system can accept the dates into MMDD YY format and you are provided with DD MM YY format and the same you can see here. So whenever you insert any date, it immediately moves onto the right hand side and the same we can see here. Some of the dates are onto the left hand side and some of them are onto the right hand side. It's because these dates entered in DMYYY format and my system accepts MDYYY format. So system is unable to read them as date and hence we can see them like this. So if you have to correct them, not to worry, flash fill can do this work in fraction of second only. So you only have to provide the pattern here. So let's see, we want month first followed by day and then we want year at the end and then you only have to press Ctrl E and there we go. Now you can see all dates have been aligned to right hand side automatically and that means we have got these dates in their correct format. So generally for these kind of situations we use text to column feature or some formulas also you can use it but Flash will take very less time as compared to formulas or functions and will return the result very quickly. Now let's move it on to the 11th example where we have to extract the date component. So say for you only want to extract the year part. So you only have to write the year and then press Ctrl E and bingo. You can easily see the year has been extracted successfully. Similarly, if you want to extract the month, so let me clear this first. I come here and write month this time and then let's say you want the month so I write only three and then when I press Ctrl E it immediately fills the rest of the cells with the month value. So this is how you can also use flash fill to extract the date components from a date column. Now in the 12th example we are given the date and we have to convert these dates into number format say for like this time you want date in different format so let's say I write three followed by 14, 2018 like this. And then when I hit enter, uh, this is not in date format currently, uh, but when we press Ctrl E, it understand what we are trying to extract. Since Excel stores date as a serial number, but here we have simply told this feature to extract only the numbers and ignore this slash, which is only a part of formatting and feature did that very well and returned with the output in rest of the cells. And in our 13th example, we are provided some phone numbers in draw format and we have to format them in the international phone number format. So to do that, you only have to provide the pattern, say for we want first three digits in the parentheses, followed by a space and then another three digits of the phone number. So here we type 
two five six and followed by space and then we have to provide last four digits of the phone number so here we type eight eight three five and then the moment i press ctrl e or click on flash field it immediately gives me the rest of the phone numbers in the required format so this is the power of flash fill as even if you have got bulk of data it will not take more than a second or two to return the output for you let's move on to the last example of this video in this case we are provided with some email ids and this time we are going to extract only the username in this column this is also very easy as you only have to type the username here and when you click on flash fill or press ctrl e there we go it only extracts the username and ignores the domain part and the same we can see here in these cells i found this feature really awesome and very helpful especially for those who do not find themselves well versed with functions and formulas to perform some basic tasks but you have to make sure the provided pattern is always correct as if you do not provide the pattern correctly the feature will not return the correct answer for you I hope this tutorial would have helped you to explore something new today. You can also share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues. Meanwhile, subscribe us to get daily alerts direct on your device. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.